Novena to St. Joseph Day 3. Men Chosen by the Blessed Trinity In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Joseph, you were the man chosen by God the Father. He selected you to be his representative on earth. Hence, he granted you all the graces and blessings you needed to be his worthy representative. You were the man chosen by God the Son, desirous of a worthy foster father. He added his own riches and gifts, and above all, his love. The true measure of your sanctity is to be judged by your imitation of Jesus. You were entirely consecrated to Jesus, working always near him, offering him your virtues, your work, your sufferings, your very life. Jesus lived in you perfectly, so that you were transformed into him. In this lies your special glory, and the keynote of your sanctity. Hence, after Mary, you are the holiest of the saints. You were chosen by the Holy Spirit. He is the mutual love of the Father and the Son, the heart of the Holy Trinity. In His wisdom, He draws forth all creatures from nothing, guides them to their end in showing them their destiny and giving them the means to reach it. Every vocation and every fulfillment of a vocation proceeds from the Holy Spirit. As a foster father of Jesus and head of the Holy Family, you had an exalted and most responsible vocation to open the way for the redemption of the world and to prepare for it by the education and guidance of the youth of the God-man. In this work, you cooperated as the instruments of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was the guide. You obeyed and carried out the works. How perfectly you obeyed the guidance of the God of love. The words of the Old Testament, which Pharaoh spoke concerning Joseph of Egypt, can well be applied to you. Can we find such another man that is full of the Spirit of God or a wise man like to him? Gen 14.38 No less is your share in the divine work of God than was that of Egypt. You now reign with your foster son and see reflected in the mirror of God's wisdom the divine will and what is of benefit to our souls. St. Joseph I thank God for having made you, the men, specially chosen by him. As a token of your own gratitude to God, obtain for me the grace to imitate your virtues, so that I too may be pleasing to the heart of God. Help me to give myself entirely to his service and to the accomplishment of his holy will, that one day I may reach heaven and be eternally united to God as you are. Saint Joseph, I, your unworthy child, greet you. You are the faithful protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. You know that I have special confidence in you, and that, after Jesus and Mary, I place all my hope of salvation in you, for you are especially powerful with God and will never abandon your faithful servants. Therefore, I humbly invoke you and commend myself with all who are dear to me and all that belong to me, to your intercession. I beg of you, by your love for Jesus and Mary, not to abandon me during life, and to assist me at the hour of my death. 
glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, obtain for me a pure, humble, charitable mind and perfect resignation to the divine will. Be my guide, my father and my model through life that I may merit to die as you did in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Loving Saint Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, I raise my heart to you to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special grace I now implore. Mention your request. Guardian of the Word Incarnate, I feel confident that your prayers in my behalf will be gloriously heard before the throne of God. Amen. Remember, most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, my loving protector, Saint Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection and asked for your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in your goodness, I come before you and humbly implore you. Despise not my petitions, foster father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive them. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 